Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Tailwind CSS into Next.js 13's new app directory. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do to set up Tailwind with your Next.js project is a new Next.js project that's using the app directory. If you haven't already, you can follow my guide to go ahead and set up a new Next.js project. It won't take very long at all. Once you have your project set up and you're ready to add Tailwind, we just have to install a few dependencies, Tailwind included. Go ahead and fire this off into your terminal and add them to your project. Auto Prefixer will automatically prefix the CSS to use the browser prefixes where needed. And Post CSS is a very powerful CSS processor that will transform the CSS into its final production and development code. Once you have it installed, then you can go ahead and run the Tailwind command line tool to initialize Tailwind. This is going to set Tailwind up for Next.js and add the very bare bones default configuration. You'll see here that you have a post CSS configuration file. You don't need to touch it, but it's where you can add plugins for Tailwind and auto prefixer if you need to. And then you have the Tailwind configuration file itself. This is where you can totally customize and build and configure Tailwind to do exactly what you need it to do. One of the great things about Tailwind is that it's not a very specific design system for you to use, but it's a much more general design system. And this enables you to kind of take it in whatever direction you want. You can do your own colors, you can update the configuration with spacing and different things that suit your needs. So there's a lot of great options here, but the most important is to tell Tailwind where you can find the actual CSS and the class names that you're using. So go ahead and add in the app directory because that's where we're going to be adding all of our code. Now, if you have other directories, like maybe a components directory, you'll want to add them to this configuration file as well. Make sure that you use this glob pattern, which tells CSS uh, tailwind to pull in all of the subdirectories and their children recursively so it finds all of the CSS classes. Lastly, the last step of configuration you need to do is you need to take this globals and totally remove it and add in the tailwind directives. This will pull tailwind into this global CSS file and this is where it's going to be used. At this point, if you haven't already, you should start or restart your dev server. Since we've added some dependencies and changed the configurations, it's always good to toggle this on and off and make sure that the Next.js dev server has picked up the new configurations. Once we do this, we're going to see that our little page here changes its styling. We've removed everything from the globals and now we're using Tailwind. So this globals.css file is already being imported into the layout. And this is where we're being, we're pulling in the Tailwind specific CSS into our application. This is a great place to have it because it's a part of the root layout. And so we can add our root CSS here as well, and it will all work how you can expect. The last thing to do is to start writing some Tailwind CSS. Here's our page, which shows up over here. And we're going to go ahead and just absolutely delete all this code because we don't want it. And now we can start writing our CSS how we want to with Tailwind. So go ahead and just, let's see, background green 500 seems nice and shiny. And let's say hello world. And we will have a class name here of, um, let's do text2xl underline just to really make sure it's showing up. And then there you have it. Automatically refreshes and you know Tailwind is working. So now you can go forth, add Tailwind to your project and start building out your design. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know uh, in a comment. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, happy coding.